Hey, Shalom Israel. All praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, and double honor to the elders and apostles of your millstone. In this edition, I wanted to write, uh, going to how it's written in the stars. It's written in the stars, it's written in our veins that we're going to obtain the victory. You know? Uh, like right now with everything going on, you know, there's more people on the comment board, there's more people, you know, a lot of Israelite groups <laughs> popping up out of fear. What's happening? Let's go preach again. Looking at us, uh, <laughs> you got uh, a lot of people who are shaking up. But for the faithful believers, you know, uh, there's literally nothing to fear because the victory is flowing within our veins. The victory's in our blood, and it's also written in the stars. Every time you look up at night, even in this, even in this polluted ass world, whenever you look up in, at, the, uh, at the sky at night, you see the stars. That's the promise of the victory. You know. Because, uh, you know, people worried about guns and what Esau are going to do and all that. Man, who controls the particles and atoms that make up the bullet that's being shot at you if Esau does shoot at you? The Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father controls every molecule of literally everything, of every fiber of the universe. The, solar, the planet, the solar system, the asteroid belt, the dwarf planets, the, 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 every celestial by every even, even things that we can't see that we know exist. The air, uh, emotions feelings these invisible streams the victory is written for us man we have nothing to fear the heavenly father Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, is in control of all these things and he called us his sons this is going to be first john chapter 2 verse 12 i write unto you little children because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake so if our sins are forgiven that means that hey lord's will hey we're going to be all right there's nothing to fear man verse 13 I write unto you fathers now it called us little children and then it called us fathers why did they do that because the elect pertaining to uh john the first chapter all the fathers but yahweh also said you must become as uh, reborn again as as babes as little children so it says i write unto you fathers because you have known him that is from the beginning because we know yahweh I write unto you, young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. It's written in our veins to overcome. All it takes is the faith in the Heavenly Father and His Son. It says, I write unto you, young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. It says, uh, man, these people cannot drive in San Antonio. God. It says, uh, I write unto you, young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. I write unto you, little children, because ye have known the Father. I have written unto you fathers because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you young men because ye are strong. And this is a very, uh, that's a very uh, powerful passage to me, man, because you are strong. Easy, I always say this too. I tell myself this every day when I run, when I'm in the gym, doing shit. Easy time make bitch niggas, but your whole spirit make a strong man, you know? Whenever you being lazy and you just comfortable and kicking back, you're not getting stronger. But in order to get stronger, you have to go through strenuous times. And the problem with a lot of men, a lot of beta male men, is that instead of being able, instead of being strong enough to endure all the hardships of the earth, they just they they just they they just pray and beg to that. I hope I hope too much doesn't happen to me. Me personally, as a man, I feel like you should pray for the Lord to give you the strength to endure everything that's to come. Versus, I hope I hope it's not too bad. Now, of course, we, of course, you know, we, we pray it's not, you know, getting tortured or something. But even if it do come to that, pray that your will gives you the spirit to endure. It. It's all about being strong. If you are a man, you're supposed to be strong. I don't mean physically. I mean uh, spiritually. Physically, okay, cool. But I'm really speaking about spiritually. And I, I like to equate, you know, exercise to uh, uh, to, uh, to exercising your mind and the spirit as well. Because with the muscle, the more and more you do it, the stronger and stronger it becomes. So the more and more you pray, the stronger and stronger your prayers become. The more and more you believe, the stronger and stronger you believe. And the more and more, the more and more that that uh, that you think upon Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. And the people that sound silly. So <laughs> we're just supposed to think about God all day. Yeah. In the Book of Numbers. Let me get this real quick. I believe it's numbers 1538. I'm correct. It's been a few years since I pulled this one up. Numbers 1538. Let's see. These fucking hand wraps on. Yeah, Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. It says, uh, and it shall be unto you for a fringe that you may look upon it. 
I'm on the wrong verse, 38. Uh, speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations and that they put a uh, put upon the fringe of the ribbon a border of blue. So put in, so we put the border of blue on the bottom of our garments, right? Verse 39. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of Yahweh and do them and that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes after which ye used to go a horn. Because uh, as, as it is written in Romans 8 chapter, to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And uh, the stumbling block is that we're uh, supposed to be spiritual while being in this flesh. And a lot of people you know, don't, don't have the spirit to dictate and to uh, take control and choose the spirit over carnality. Which carnally, there's many things that seem pleasing, but the spirit tells you uh, that's fucking ridiculous. Uh, stop. Too much. Don't do it. Don't. Uh, 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 do not. Do not go. You know. Uh, uh, what my mom used to say. Don't pass. Go. Collect hundred. Some. Some about monopoly. I don't know. But the spirit is what tells us to stray away from certain things. Even though carnally, it will feel good. There's many things that carnally will feel good, but are wicked as hell. So we're supposed to constantly th meditate on things of the spirit. Which, whenever you're working out, you're constantly working that muscle to get stronger. It's even more so with the spirit. With the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, the more and more you speak these words, the better and better you get at it. Everything, man. Repetition is the father of skill, as they say. And uh, the more and more you believe that the Heavenly Father is dealing with you. Which, hey, man, if you're sincere, eh, eh, if you're not sincere, you know you're not sincere. Uh, uh, I'm looking at you, swiped and declined. All things, man. You know? But the Heavenly Father said that... Uh, Right, right here, the apostle said that we are strong. He wrote unto us because we're strong. A weak person does not get to where we're at right now, man. A weak person is not gonna be in his ministry fighting. If you want, if you want to fight, man, even just the act that you getting in the ring, just the fact that you fighting means that you a strong person, man. Weak people, man, weak people don't be in the gym. That being said, we, this is a spiritual warfare. Weak people ain't gonna be in this war. There's many people who maybe went to the camp a few times and were like, I'm so scared and embarrassed. Some, some, some shit of the world, they fell among thorns. Something of the world drew them out of it because they wasn't built for it. They weren't strong. But we, us doing this, brothers, we, we, we had that kazak on us, man. We strong, man. And no certain brothers stronger than others. But overall, hey, focus on you and the Heavenly Father. Focus on you and your Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shai. You the one that's in this thing. Do this thing for yourself. Constantly increase for yourself, man. First John 2, 14 again. I have written unto you fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you, you young men, because ye are strong, and the word of God abideth in you, and ye have overcome the wicked one. We've already overcame Esau, man. It's written, all, uh, hey man, all, that, all the blood cells flowing through your veins right now is written in them that, that we overcame. Look about the stars, man. It's written in the stars that we overcame, man. It's written in the moon. It's written in the sun. It's written. It's written in the celestial, man. We we, we already overcame. So all this stuff, people being afraid of Esau. I mean, I mean, it's gonna be a certain times you get nervous and might shake a little bit and start stuttering. But oh, hey, overall, man, we have uh, the victory. Do you believe or not? So that being said, that was really just my point, man. I just wanted to put that out there man it's written in the stars man it's written <laughs> that the lord is for that that the lord loves us a lot of times you might not think you do but a lot of, a lot of times it might, it might feel like you don't you know a lot of times it's like the lord is just uh, afflicting you i believe jeremiah said uh you were as unto uh, oh, oh lord yeah how were you were as unto me as an enemy you know but all that is for uh is for your veteran man you don't you don't get uh stronger by being comfortable you want to get stronger, it's going to put a lot of strain on you, man. Especially if, you, if you're if you really going hard and you're really dedicated and have that fire in you, you're really going to be sore. You're really going to be uh, going through it. And brothers be praying for more faith and for more uh, and for more, for more of the spirit. And then when things happen to them carnally, they uh, they want to cry. And I'll say, hey, speaking of myself, first and foremost, man, you be hurt. What's going on? Uh, you pray for it, man. You pray, you pray to be stronger, right? Well, in order to be stronger, you have to get hurt. Simple as that. Uh, strenuous activities increase strength. That being said, that was really the point. I feel like I said that 25 times now. Hey, uh, Shalom.